Third time's the charm. Today's challenge is to do a magic trick. I've been watching Jason do magic tricks on YouTube and they're mind blowing. So good in fact that it makes me not even want to try because I know I'd never be good enough to do that or that. Um, it's just mind blowing. Anyway, he posted a trick that uses math, not magic. And I know math, so maybe I can do this one. I got a timer just like he does. Mine's digital, not analog, which is easier to fake, but you're more trustworthy than his viewers. Um, this shuffle that I don't know what it's called or how to hold the cards to do it, but he does it like this. Yeah. Something about it. Looks a lot cooler if you do it right. I'm sort of getting the hang of it as I've messed up other parts of this trick several times now. You know what? I like that intro, so we're just going to take more. Uh, I've noticed lately Wait, that, that four? some four of these tricks are over your head. Yes, I'm talking to you. Remember that. Far too difficult for you to understand. So I, okay. I can teach you how to do one. Uh, that way you can kind of see how they work. Have a card selected. Uh, seven of dimes. Shuffle it back into the deck. You can wash the cards if you want. Uh, the whole point is the card is mixed in. See, I really like this shuffle. Um, whenever I've tried to do it, people tell me that's not a real shuffle. And they make you think you're the one being ridiculous. Um, but he calls it a casino shuffle. So do they do this in casinos? Possibly. Not any casino I've ever been to, but... And this trick will always work as long as you're playing with a full deck. Now, there's no sleight of hand, it's just math. It there's no denying that that shuffle was real. There's no denying uh, that that shuffle was real. There's Another bridge. No denying that this cut is shuffle real. that bottom card, but it's okay, because we're doing a cut. So now it's in the middle. We're gonna cut three groups of cards. Cut off three groups of cards like this, and you're just gonna add these values up. So nine, one. Turn them over. Okay, they were all supposed to be number cards, I think. He didn't really explain it. Anyway, we're gonna go with an 11 and a uh, one here. So, one, two, one, two three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, six. Four, one, two, three, five, four, five, six. six. That's the crazy part, eight, 10th card. Nine, one, nine, two, three, four, eleven, five, one, six, two, seven, three, eight. Four, Nine, five, six, seven, eight, and In the tenth the card will always be your card. It's just a mathematical miracle. I don't know how it works, but it's not there. Off by, by one hand. error. <laughs> no. Um, challenge failed. Magic is harder than it looks.